Hey peeps, it's me again, back for the challenge, okay? So the fifth move is your hood ornament. Again, another really good move, because it's actually a really good transitional move for a lot of like combos. Um, so again, you would definitely want to get this one nailed. Now, I've had some messages to say that, you know, you want, you're really finding this beneficial, which is awesome. Now, if you don't know, our UPP program, which is our ultimate progressional program, is starting in September. So we're only having a certain amount of intakes per year. This is the last one this year, and you do it together. So if you're like, I really want this support, okay, and you're finding these tutorials helpful, you want to learn more like this every week, Come and join us, okay? I, my, all my programs are online anyway, uh, so it doesn't matter where you are in the world. Uh, if you want some more information, you can just message me, okay? I will, we'll have a chat together um, and just make sure it's right for you. If it's not right for you, I will tell you that. Uh, there may be other options, um, but whatever it is, make sure you have something to progress onto, okay? Whether it's with me or whether it's somebody else, all right? Doesn't matter, okay? So from September, once summer is over, it's time to get stuck back in. Anyway, coming back to hood ornament, are you ready? So, we hood ornament, I'm just looking up, I'm just looking at the page, so on page number 86, I'm going to show you what this one looks like, and then I'll break it down. I might just tilt my, uh, my camera up slightly because this one is up the pole. Okay, all right. All right, so I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so we've got the Now you don't need to hook your inside leg high, um, but, but we just want a bit of height off the ground, okay? So it doesn't have to be major. But if you do want to go higher, obviously start with your leg higher and you'll get up higher on your palm, okay? So that's the trick. So depending like whether you have enough height where you're training, okay? I think I have around nine foot something, so I don't have massive ceilings. Some of you might only have seven foot ceilings. I know a lot of my members, members do. So again, it's just trying to adapt your training with what you have at home, all right? So if you don't have a lot of height, you just start hooking low. Otherwise, so I'm just gonna go halfway. So not like a genie, not like going all the way out and then hooking high or anything like that. I'm literally just going to have my hand at still at shoulder level, push the back of my knee in, so slight angle, squeezing my heel towards my butt. Now there's a little gap between my hip and the pole, okay? So I'm not here. This is gonna be the end position, but we need to make sure we pull up first because the outside leg is going behind the pole. So from here, squeeze. Then you're gonna move your inside hand up. You're then going to think about pulling your shoulder down and placing your outside shin behind the pole. So it goes like this. Once you've got the strength, you're gonna pull down. So you're gonna push the shin, pull down, so I'm pulling in. So I bend my elbow, engage with my bicep, and I'm gonna think about taking the arm around the back of the pole. As my arm goes around the back of the pole, I push my hip forwards, okay? So I'm just gonna show you that whole little bit there. So from here, shin behind, pull in, straighten the outside leg down, so I'm pushing the shin in, pushing the hips forward and squeezing that inner arm around, okay? Does that make sense? Now, some people prefer to have your outside hand up. There is no right or wrong. I don't believe there's a, a, a right or wrong as such with pole. I just think there's a safe way of doing things, okay? Um, or safer. So you can have your outside hand if you prefer. Some people prefer it because you can get the inner arm uh, quicker, that's up to you. So, hook, hand up, pulling the shoulder down first, okay? Taking the shin behind the pole. I'm then going to push my hips forwards as I pull up, and I'm pulling in, okay? I'm pulling my body close. Straighten the outside leg, so I'm pushing the shin into the pole. Push the hips forwards, squeeze the inner arm around, and move the hand down. Okay, so now that hand is around face level. So this is the first step. If you've never done this before, this is what the position I want you to get in. You can keep your hands up. You should be nice and low anyway, because we're not pulling up massively high, we're not side climbing or anything like that. You'll just be able to step down from, the, from that position. Okay, I'm gonna show you from this angle. It doesn't look as good, but hopefully it'll just show you my points, okay? How close I'm getting to the pole. So, starting here. 
my hand goes up and my outside hand is around head level. I'm then going to think about lifting the outside leg, pushing the shin into the pole. Pulling down, pushing the hip forwards. And at the same time, I slide the outside leg down the pole. Push the hip forwards, elbow comes around and move the hand down. Okay, and I'm going to squeeze. Then from here, if you feel good, okay, I'm going to step down again. If you feel good from that position, you're going to go, so the hand comes down, and then you're going to straighten the arm. So you're going to keep squeezing that arm as if you were trying to take it across your body. Getting as much grip as you can in the inner arm. Now we've done moves like this anyway, so we've done upright, um, upright glamour, okay, where we held the outside leg, but you've actively now got to try and keep that arm squeezed across for the grip. Does this make sense? Okay. So once the arm is squeezed across, and now, just like our grandma, we are going to see if we can take the outside hand off. You can actually take your hands out in front or extend your arm over your head, whatever works for you, okay? A lot of people prefer just to have your hands in front to start with, and then as you feel more confident, you can actually start to lean back as you take the arm over. So, let's go through it again. So hook, outside hands around head level, Inside hand is up, outside shin pushes on, pulling into the pole, and pushing that shin in to be able to get extra grip, then sliding the leg down. Now my butt is still back here, so I have to push the hips forwards, squeeze the inner arm around, move the hand down. Then you're going to straighten the arm, squeeze across. If you feel good, release the other hand, take your hands on top of each other, or you can take the outside arm over your head. Hand on, bend, other hand on. Then you can take the outside leg down and slowly come out of that move. Does that make sense? Okay. Uh, so that is your hood ornament. So give it a go, obviously try both sides and uh, make sure as well, I'm using a silicone pole all the way, so I have a lot of grip, okay? I don't have to worry about using chalk or anything like that um, or expose my skin. But if you guys have got a normal pole, like a, whether it's a chrome pole, whether it's a brass pole, whether it's powder coated, I don't care, okay? So just take your um, clothing off to gain more grip, okay? So make sure you've got short shorts on, to so make sure you get the grip behind the legs, and able to push the hips forward, side grip, inner arm grip, okay? So you guys know, hopefully know, if you don't, the more skin you can expose and touch the pole, the more grip you're gonna have. Alrighty, so give that a go, make sure you try both sides and uh, yeah, look forward to seeing them. Alrighty, bye.